Hello. Today, I'm going to be talking about Procreate. This is the perfect place to start. I'm going to go over all the beginner tips that you'll need, things like layer control. I'm going to go over all the Procreate gestures as well as all the new ones that are meant for the new hover feature on the Apple Pencil Pro and new iPad Pros, as well as settings and stuff like that that you should be aware of. All right, let's start with the settings. When you first open up Procreate, you're actually going to see the gallery view, which is going to look something like this. Once you've opened up an artwork, now we can access the settings in Procreate. So by clicking on this wrench up here, you can access a whole bunch of different things. Starting from left to right, we've got add, which allows us to insert files, photos, add text, copy paste, all that fun stuff. Canvas is where we can adjust the settings of our canvas. You can flip your canvas horizontally and vertically and click canvas information, look at the dimensions, how many layers are available based off of your specific iPad model and the power it has and the resolution you've made your canvas. You can change your color profile. Your video settings is your time lapse video settings and then some statistics on this specific canvas, which includes your file size, which can be helpful when trying to keep track of how much space Procreate is taking up on your iPad. Animation Assist, by turning this on, will turn on your animation tools for frame by frame animation. Drawing Guide will turn on a grid of some sort. Perspective looks like nothing is there, but you have to tap somewhere on your screen and this will create a vanishing point. If I click Assisted Drawing here, now when I start drawing on here, it's going to lock me to that assisted drawing. So if I wanted to draw a bunch of isometric cubes very quickly, Holy, that's probably the worst cube I've ever drawn, but you get the idea. <laughs> I'm going to go back into drawing guide and I'm going to turn on perspective. I'm going to click once and that's going to create one vanishing point. It's going to maintain that vanishing point. So I can now come in here and with that vanishing point I set, I can draw buildings or cubes or what have you, and it will maintain that perspective for me. If you create a new layer, it is not going to have assist turned on by default. So now I can draw without the drawing assist pulling me in a certain direction. You can go back into the settings, click edit drawing guide and turn on assisted drawing one more time right there. Edit drawing guide and turn on symmetry. If you click options on symmetry, you can turn on horizontal symmetry, vertical symmetry, quadrant, as well as radial, which is fun. Reference is a cool tool. It will show the entire canvas as you draw so if you want to do some cool like time lapse recording and stuff like that or if you just want to view the entire canvas at once while you're drawing that's how you do that you can pull up an image to view and reference there and the face option is really weird <laughs> uh, what this does is it uses the front of your camera and then with these dots here, these are your eyes as well as your nose and your mouth down there too. And you can draw on your face. You can also click options here to take a photo, record a video, make it full screen, all that fun stuff. And share, this one's pretty self-explanatory. This just exports your Procreate file into multiple different file types. So share image is going to export it as one of these file types and then bring up the built-in iPad share screen. You can also share your layers as a PDF, as well as different types of animations applies to the animation assist. The video settings have to do with the Procreate built-in time-lapse functionality. You can click time-lapse replay and it will show you everything you've done so far, sped up of course, and you can export that time-lapse to a video file if you'd like to share it somewhere. Preferences are more things that you can adjust to make the Procreate experience better for yourself. So you can turn on the light interface if you'd like to blind your eyeballs. You can turn on the right hand interface. You can turn on dynamic brush scaling. You can turn on and off project canvas, which if you connect to a second display, either through AirPlay or through the USDC cable on your iPad, that will make the second display just show the entire canvas as you're drawing on it instead of mirroring your display, which can be fun if you're like teaching a Procreate class or something. Brush cursor is for the hover functionality on the new iPads it's an Apple Pencil Pro, which when you hover, it will show your brush cursor right here. It'll also turn it off for normal Apple Pencils when you are pushing on the screen itself. As you can see, the brush cursor, that little circle that's kind of following me around, will then go away if you turn that off. 
You can come in here to advance cursor visibility to turn it just off on hover, just off when painting, and kind of change the style of that outline if you so desire. Pressure in smoothing is honestly best left alone. The Apple Pencil does a pretty dang good job here, but if you have a third party stylus, you might wanna come in here and adjust the stabilization, which is basically smoothing out as you draw, as well as the motion filtering and motion filtering expression, which kind of adjusts how your stylus will handle as you make big strokes and quick movements. You can also change the sensitivity curve here, which basically, as you push harder on your iPad, your brush tip gets bigger or more opaque, depending on which brush you're using, of course. And this will allow you to adjust the sensitivity of your stylus across all brushes instead of on a per brush basis. Gesture controls is where you can adjust the settings for your gestures. Smudge and erase can be tied to your finger if you would like. So if I turn on touch right here and then I draw with a color and then come in here with my finger, I will just automatically start smudging. You can set it to just your Apple Pencil if you wanna be finger painting, I guess. Eraser is the same thing as the smudge. Assisted drawing, this will allow you to turn on and off assisted drawing. Eyedropper is allowing you to select somewhere on your canvas and pull the color from it. I like to leave the eyedropper on touch and hold, which allows me to, with my finger, touch anywhere on the canvas and this little eyedropper will pop up and that will allow me to pull the color from anywhere I want while I'm drawing without having to pull up the color settings. Quick shape. So what quick shape does is if I was to draw a straight line and it wasn't perfectly straight, if I held my pencil there for a second, it would make it straight. You can also do this with circles as well as other shapes like squares and triangles. I like to turn on the touch square for that just because it makes it a lot faster for me. So I could draw a line there, touch the square, draw a square here, touch the square, and now will use quick shape right there. Copy and paste. By default, copy and paste is three fingers down. You can come in and use the selection tool right here to draw a selection around something and bring up your copy and paste that way. Copy and paste has cut, copy, copy all, duplicate, and you can adjust that in the gesture controls. And these settings will apply to the entire layer that you have currently selected. If you have, for example, drawn multiple things on one layer, as you can see here, one thing that might be helpful is using the selection tool up here. Once you've made your selection, three finger drag down to bring up the copy and paste menu. And something, just as a quick tip, if you'd like to split this layer so that you have one circle on one and the other on a different layer, you can use the cut and paste option, which looks like it didn't do anything because now it's just selected that circle, but it put it on a different layer for us. In Procreate, when you're drawing, you are drawing on layers, similar to something like Photoshop or any other professional drawing program. To get to your layers, you're going to tap these double squares up here at the top. The first things to take note of is that you have a background color here that you can tap and adjust the color of. So these check boxes will hide and show your different layers. This N is gonna bring up your different blending modes as well as the opacity of your layer. Next up, if you tap the name of the layer, you can rename the layer, you can select the layer, and it will just select everything that is not transparent. You can copy the layer, fill the layer with whatever color you have selected. You can alpha lock it, which means you can only draw on this layer in areas that are not transparent. So if you wanted to do kind of like a masking effect like this, that's how you would do it. Create a mask on the layer. You can invert the colors of your layer and you can turn it into a reference layer. What a reference layer is, if you draw, say, all of your line art on one layer and then you wanted to color below it, move this layer below, I can make it a reference layer, go to my bottom layer, and now if I was to do something like color fill, it will use the above layer to show the constraints. As you saw just a second ago, to move your layers above or below each other, tap and hold them to move them like that. You can also swipe left to lock your layer which will make it so you can no longer draw on that duplicate a layer if you'd like to create a direct copy of it or delete the layer altogether up next i'm going to create a couple different layers a quick way to group these layers together for organization and for being able to move them around and all that stuff is to swipe right this will select multiple layers which you can then delete all at once or click this group right here and that will create a layer group if you tap you will see this flatten option what that's going to do is it's going to combine everything 
everything in that group into one layer. Another fun layer tip you can do is create a clipping mask. What a clipping mask is, is a layer above another layer. So in this case, layer two above layer one, when drawing on this layer that has been turned into a clipping mask, it will only appear on the layer below it. Now I'm gonna go over some quick gestures that will help you when using your layers. First is a two finger swipe to the right. I am turning on that alpha lock. A two finger tap will close your layers and bring up the opacity here so that you can adjust it while having a clear view of the rest of your drawing. But you can also, if you have a bunch of layers, do a pinch across them like this and that will merge them all into one. I know that was a lot, but I tried to condense it as much as possible and focus on mostly what will be helpful to people getting started with Procreate and things that you may not be aware of that are available to you so that down the road, you aren't hitting yourself for not knowing that you could have made really quick straight lines, for example. And be sure to stick around for more Procreate and other design tool tips and tricks.